Hey everyone, in today's ramble we're going to be talking about exploration in EVE Echoes and specifically what would make exploration a bit more interesting and exciting to engage with. But before I continue, if you like these videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button, it really does help out a lot. But anyway, let's get on to the video, shall we? So, exploration. NetEase gave it a small buff in the recent patches. That buff being that the spawn rate for the exploration sites has been doubled. That should make it so that players aren't going through system after system after system and finding absolutely nothing. They should actually have a chance now of finding something and actually having something to engage with when exploring. But what more could we do to make exploration a bit more fun and exciting? We're not talking about profitability here because that's just something that netties can tweak here and there. A couple of numbers here, a couple of numbers there. Jobs are good. So, first and foremost, the hacking or analysing minigame. We've all, well, I say all, those of us that have commented on exploration in the past have been sure to point out that we don't have a minigame yet. It's just completely chance-based. You fly up to the uh, box, you lock onto it, you turn on your module, and you hope that you don't fail too many times for the box to go boom. It's as simple as that. Uh, in EVE Online, the evil EVE Online, there is a proper minigame that you have to go through. I'm not entirely familiar with the minigame, but if you were to port that across immediately from EVE Online to EVE Echoes, the only way NetEase would be able to achieve that is by going into essentially full screen mode, like when you're doing the uh, scanning down of the anomalies. But we're uncloaked. We don't want that full screen scanning system, do we? So we need another kind of minigame. I'm thinking whenever you tap on your ship, for example, you get a menu, a circular menu, don't you? How about a minigame that's built into a similar circular UI feature? That way we still retain our overview on the right hand side. We still retain our local window on the left hand side. So we still have complete awareness and you just have to maybe keep on reacting to different things that are happening within that circle in the middle of the screen. Just an interesting idea, make it a bit more engaging. Now, the second um, idea, and this one is a heck of a lot simpler, is to have sites despawn automatically upon leaving if a certain number of boxes have been looted. Now, the specific reason for this one is several months back when I last tried exploration, for about an hour and a half, the majority of the sites that I found that were data sites or relic sites um, had already been looted. And, you know, this sounds like a bit of a gripe here, but hear me out. They'd already been looted, but at least one box had been left remaining with something completely worthless left in it, for example, metal scraps. So what that means is the next explorer that comes along is going to be wasting their time. They're not going to enjoy themselves. So after a certain number of boxes have been looted, despawn the site once uh, the last player has left and automatically respawn another one somewhere. Just the whole point is to keep the game engaging, right? Uh, next up, um, give uh, exploration players a role within their corporation within the local area that they're set up within SOV. Uh, for example, uh, at the moment that role tends to be for the PvE players, you know, uh, scanning down those rare PvE anomalies for the uh, ratters. How about the gas? The gas that we've recently been introduced to, that's currently just been added on to every single mining belt in the game. Well, I, I say every single, it's no sec and low sec. But what if we took the gas back out of those belts and put them in an anomaly that was exclusive to the scanning system? You had a ton of gas in there that would probably take the best part of a day for a corporation to completely mine out but it has to be scanned down first. It makes gas mining a bit more of a specialist uh, operation and 
involves the explorers. Um, also, with going back to EVE Online, gas mining has its own level of risk. That being the, the uh, gas, as I understand it, has a chance of exploding and causing damage to you. In this game, that risk could be you have to, you know, fly around to different systems you're unfamiliar with and, you know, risk your mining ships getting destroyed in transit by pirates because you're not going from uh, station to belt, station to belt. You're going from station, Stargate, 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 gas mining, where you've discovered the anomaly, and then having to find your way back to the nearest station to get rid of it. You know, a bit of hauling, bit of moving around. Every time you jump through a Stargate, there's a risk that somebody's going to grab you. Gas mining is meant to be a bit more risky, so why not make that the risk element? I know. Um, let's try to avoid going on too much of a tangent. This isn't about gas mining. This is about exploration. And I've got one more cool idea here. Now, this one wouldn't take too much in terms of programming, but it's got a little bit more going for it in terms of level design. And that is your cloak. How, I, and I don't believe there's anything like this in EVE Online, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, how about a mini game that revolves around the cloak? So you scan down this whole new anomaly and you warp in. You warp into this anomaly's safe zone. And whether it's NPCs or you're flying through a bunch of debris that's equipped with smart bombs, I don't know. Um, not smart bombs. You know what I mean. Is it smart bombs? Anyway, um, whatever the case is, you have to navigate through this particular anomaly completely cloaked and there will be obstacles that you have to avoid. The moment that you decloak, you start taking damage. And if you've not got enough tank on you, you just go boom. If you do have enough tank, you'd hit that micro warp drive or even warp directly back out, come back in again and try again. So the whole point here is you have your starting zone, which is safe, and your end zone, where the loot is, which is safe. But you've got to get through this hostile zone in between. Now, the container is always open. You've just got to get to it, but you can't just warp there. Uh, maybe, uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, I'm just, this is an idea, okay? But you've got to specifically get to the box without triggering the alarm system. And I think you guys probably understand where I'm coming from here. So you get to fly around in a cloaked ship and be very meticulous and careful. And there will be no other way of getting to that box. If you try to be cheeky about it and find a way of warping in so you land directly on the box, your warp field still passes through the detection grid. That box automatically locks up and doesn't unlock until you leave the area. You know, there'll be ways around stopping people from cheesing it. I just think that'd be a cool, interesting little idea because we need to make exploration more engaging, right? This would be a nice, fun, little engaging way of using your tiny little, you know, cloaky ships. But anyway, I think that's enough of a ramble for what I think exploration could use. Do you have any other suggestions that I haven't mentioned so far? Feel free to include them in the comments. And don't forget that subscribe button. Like maybe as well if you want. I mean, that one's not as important to su subscribe, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to stop you. Anyway, thanks again and see you guys in the next video.